Yeah, coach has agreed to let me finish one more week with the team and and uh, enjoy getting to play in this bowl game. And I'm grateful he's given me the opportunity to do so. But when I took the other job, he just said, hey, if you want to do this, let's do it. And so I, I'm, I'm all in to finishing this the right way and hopefully getting win number 10. Is it sentimental at all? Yeah, sure. I mean, you want to you want to go out the right way and you want to coach. I want to coach DeAndre Square one more time. Yeah. They're physical. They've got an identity. They run the ball. Um, they take shots off of it. The, the tight end's obviously a really good player, number 84. And he, he, he's, he's a dynamic pass catcher, and he's a good blocker too. But they, they, they have an identity of what they want to do on offense, and they do it really well. Yeah, uh, DeAndre Square, Jaquez Jones, who I coach as a freshman and now coaching him as a senior. Um, those guys have been great leaders this year for us, have stepped up and made huge plays as this year has happened throughout the year for us to get here. And so wanted to, wanted to finish it with them one more time. And then the, the other young guys in the room want to continue to watch their development and growth and let them know I'm not quitting on them. I want to finish this whole season the right way. And, uh, and, and we'll always follow them and track them no matter where I'm at. I'm always there for them. And, but really, DeAndre and Jaquez, uh, of getting to coach those guys one more time, it's important to me. You, you obviously wore the uniform back in the day, too. Just what does uh, Kentucky mean, mean to you? Yeah, I mean, it's my alma mater. Uh, I think when Coach gave me the opportunity three years ago to come back, it, it meant something to me to put the logo on every day, and it still does. And so um, there were not very many situations that were going to get me to leave where I've been. Um, this one I've got in front of me is one of the few that I would have considered. Um, so it, it's meant a great deal to me that Coach has given me the opportunity to come back here and coach the last three years, and I'll never take it for granted. Do you feel like it's the, the right kind of team to play to when you're going to be smashing some dudes? And well, I, it, it's, it's the kind of game you want to be a part of. It's going to be a physical football game. And they play the game the right way. I want our guys to show up and play the game the right way. I've got a lot of respect for what they do, and hopefully our guys play, you know, respect the game and play it the right way. We're, we're working on it. I'm, I I got a lot of work to do. I'm not worried about that yet. We got a lot of other things to, to get accomplished. Yeah. How have you seen this defense just grow over, over your last three years here? It's been really fun to watch Brad as a coordinator and watch the whole group as a as a entire unit just continue to take steps forward, find different ways to be successful. I think we finished top 25 in the country in total defense this year again. And so just to to constantly reinvent how we're going to play the game and. You've got the staples, the things we're always going to do and always be good at. But to see get different guys step up too and embrace different roles and to see the growth of individuals has been fun. So uh, the fact that all three years I've been here, we've been able to play really sound, steady defense has been fun to be a part of. Have you taken a look at the Iowa defense much and just said, hey, how do we have so many receptions so many things? Yeah, I haven't had time to, with, with working two jobs, I've been lucky just to watch their offense. So I haven't been able to watch their, their defense much either. Yes and no. I mean, I, I, it's sad to leave guys before they've really fulfilled what they're going to become. Uh, kids like that are going to become great players. I think one thing is you want to leave a place better than where you found it. And I do think the inside linebacker room right now with Jaquez and Square and Trevin and uh, Derek Jackson and Martez Thrower, Luke Fulton, there's guys in there that can play. So it's still going to be a very deep room. It's going to have a lot of good players moving forward. And so um, really, really wish I could have seen it through with – the end of his development, but I think he's gonna he's got a bright future. All those guys do. All right, folks. All right, thank you guys. Uh, you know we real loose. We uh we just ready, man. It's a big game. Everybody knows it's a big game, so we just trying to come every day and put the work in and be prepared. Yeah, I mean, our motto is as soon as we step on the green, you know, it's time to go. So the moment we step on the field and put our helmet on, that's when it's time to go. It's nothing else but business. Yeah, man, I'm a, I'm like the hype guy on, uh, on the team, so. No, I am not. I'm not a big roller coaster fan, and I feel like I'm 
It's not a safe place for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How excited are you to, to hang with the kids and stuff later on this week? Are you a big fan of that last week? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be fun, man. Uh, I can't wait to get on them rides. You know, they got kitty rides, so I'm cool with that. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun, and I can't wait, man. It's going to be nice. Big guys are meant to stay closer to her. Yeah, exactly. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Everybody good? This, uh, go ahead. this game, though, when you there, – there, there's a lot of state going up a guy, against a guy like Tom no doubt. Bomb. No doubt. How, how do you think going up against Luke – I know you all don't do good on good all the time. Yeah. How much do you think just the big blue wall has prepared you for this, this matchup? Uh, a lot, man. Uh, Luke, he gave me work every day. Like, man, it's it's crazy. And uh, I was just telling him in one on one, like, you know, let's go together because, you know, he's gonna be much bigger than the guy that you know I usually go with. So I told Luke, you know, let's do some one on ones and uh, you know, just get me better and get me prepared for Saturday. And that's what he was doing. What, what does Wonderbomb do really well that you've gotta keep on your mind whenever you're preparing for this matchup? Uh, he 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 know how to drive off the ball. He uh. He's really aggressive, and uh, I mean, I, I just like a challenge, and I feel like me and him is going to be a great, you know, a great game. To win this game, I know you always want to win them all, but especially this game. No doubt. What's that mean if you walk out of there and win every time? Man, it's going to be mean everything to me. Uh, it's going to be my fourth ring, so I'm really trying to get that and just leave here at, on my legacy and just show everybody, you know, what I came here to do. What's going through your mind out there whenever you dance and stuff during practice? That's how you dance. Man, man, I don't know, man. I'm just blessed to be here, man. It's so many, uh, I had so many chances I could not be here. So I just try to make every day the best day. So. You miss the cold weather back home? Uh, a little bit, but uh, I'm loving this little island boy weather right here, man. This is nice. <laughs> this is nice. All right, folks, thank you. Appreciate it. It feels good uh, definitely being back under that Florida sun, man. There's nothing like it, especially uh, – Especially right now in Lexington, it's cold up there. Uh, definitely not used to that being from down here, but uh, it feels good. I remember in 2018, Coach Larman, he told me that my time would come one day and to make sure that I'm always progressing and staying ready for my time. And here I am back at the, the very same game, about to, about to play a team and I'm blessed to be out there starting. So it's just, just a great culmination of everything that I've been through leading me right back here, leading me right back home. It just feels good. Just, just feel blessed. There are uh, quite a few folks asking for tickets from the family. <laughs> oh yeah, everybody. Uh, a lot of people wanted one. I wasn't able to get everybody one, but um, I was definitely blessed enough to get my get my family, my mom and my dad, and my sister's going to be there. So uh, I'm excited for them to come watch me play, see what I've been what I've been working on, what I've been cooking up these past couple of years. While I've been away. Uh, I think to start, I think we did a very good job before we came down here. Prepping, we did a whole, we did over a week of uh, full bowl prep before we even got down here. So we were staying in shape, we were staying in condition as, um, as time went on. And even when we went away, coach, even, uh, even when we went away, the coaches were stressing, making sure we got our extra, our running in, making sure we got our lifting in because we knew what the environment coming in was. And me being from Florida, my, I already already know about playing in that Florida heat, so I'm over here giving other guys tips like, hey, you got to, oh, I'm sorry, you got to get, you got to get water on your wrist, you got to get the back of your neck, you got to be, got to be ready, you got to be hydrated, because that Florida, it's not just that sun, it's that humidity too, and a lot of people are not uh, not used to that, not being down here, but um, yeah, it's just we've we've been preparing this whole time was, it's all, it's just about staying ready, so you don't got to get ready, and that's what we're doing right now. What's the, uh, what's the mood in, in the offensive line room when you know you've got a, a physical challenge ahead against a team like ours? Uh, we're excited. Uh, we're ready. Just being playing at Kentucky, you realize that do we, as an O-lineman, we want to – our standard is putting the team on our back and carrying the load and saying, you can put this game on us, we're going to get you to victory. So being able to – Playing a tough physical team like Iowa, that's going right up our alley. That's the game. That's the game. That's the game we like to play. We like to play physical, grinded out games. So um, we're just gonna, just gotta be ready for it. Just gotta, 
just got to prepare for it and let the tip fall where they may. Appreciate you.